How would you find the stationary points of this one? Step one is finding f prime of x, the derivative of your function. So we do that with the power rule, yeah? Yeah, use the power rule for both these terms. So first off, the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, and then the derivative of minus 3x is just minus 3. All right, what's step two? Step two is setting the derivative equal to zero. And we do that because if we now solve for x, that'll tell us the x coordinates where the derivative is equal to zero. That's where the tangent to the curve is flat. Okay, so 3x squared minus 3 is zero so move the three over now simplify this by dividing both sides by three x squared equals one so x is one you happy with that yeah well you shouldn't be if x is one then one squared equals one so you got that right but look minus one squared also equals one so be careful there's two answers for x and this means there's two places on the graph where the derivative is zero and it makes sense because we have two stationary points Ah, shoot, yeah, so one out. Step three is to plug these x values back into your original function of the curve, because that'll tell us the corresponding y values. Plugging minus one in gives us two, so this stationary point on the left is minus one, two. And plugging plus one in gives us minus two, so the other stationary point is one, minus two. 